when you're inside the little houses, the they're tiny cool. home. Yeah, the tiny home. I call them little house. But anyway, you can lock them when you're in there. Can't nobody come in. But when you come out, you cannot lock them. Yeah. Can you put a lock on the outside? Yeah. No. Yeah. And no. It physically no. doesn't let you, or no. they won't trust us with the keys. I tried to no. lock. They, they, they got the keys the key. to the lock, so you can lock it on the outside. But they won't give them. So the, the, the just to be clear, it has a lock capability, but they don't give you the key. The key. Right. Who lives in it? And you live in it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And yeah. you can't have a key to I your own key. No. Uh, house. Is no. what you want to call no, it? You no, you can't. No, you can't. Yeah. No. But why did I just watch that gentleman? Ask if uh, you need a toilet paper. Because Wouldn't those? Never enough. Enough toilet paper when we go into the stalls. Yeah. I bring my own toilet. You have to line the seat if you're going to sit down. Right. You know so saying? there's so. no liner. No. And there's no not liner. enough toilet paper. No. Well, you sometimes have to clean up the shit and the piss to sit down. Six showers, right? Five or six showers. One. It goes from extremely hot to extremely cold. There is no in between. Is that you when it's working? Yourself. Yeah. Or uh, that's when it's broken? The water uh, shit, that's wrong. when it's working. When, I got the white when it's working, system. it yeah. goes from extremely hot. Getting hurt mm -hmm. Right now, it's not working exploded. at all. It hasn't worked in days. People are getting hurt. They're getting burned. Here, yeah. I got burned mm -hmm. from the water. That's there from it is. the water? Uh huh. Yeah. Swear. It's from yeah. the water. There it is. It's here. I pulled off the scab today. Or freezing cold. I know. There's and that's when it's working. That's not why. Is that why you said it was broken because of that scar? Well, it, I was the first one in the shower three days ago, and Shan came and said, well, You're lying. The water's on there. I said, Well, I'll sit here and you can come in and turn the water. Yeah. You're lying, Shan. She went and stormed up. Shot. She's not doing that part of her job. Mm. She's more concerned with making herself look good exactly. so that she will get her pats on the back and her promotion, I guess. Um, yeah. Do you want to share her name? Uh, the person in charge. I'm not going to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Please, um, Michael, don't be afraid. Speak the name. Shannon. Shannon. You know what I mean? Veronica. Yeah. Chelsea. Yeah. And they're Dude, all they not qualified to deal with it. None of them. None of them are qualified. None of them give a fuck. It's just a job. At 4:30, they, they don't leave. Belong in this is nothing but a scam. Until scam. the VA, once the VA starts funding this, that's money for somebody's pocket. That's all it is, man. You um, mind me sharing this video and I don't yeah, man, because no, this is a scam. Really. It's no, all Michael, a scam, afraid, dude. We're not afraid yeah, this you, is and all a you scam. might share your name and where you served in uh, the Michael game? Williams, uh, United States Navy, Desert Storm, Desert Shield. That's all it is, man. Um, you mind me sharing this video and I don't, yeah, man, because no, this is a scam. Really. It's no, Michael, all a scam, afraid, dude. We're not afraid, yeah, you this is and all a scam. And you might share your name and where you served? In uh, the Michael game? Williams, uh, United States Navy, Desert Storm, Desert Shield. The military is why we're here. The military is what fucked us up and took away from who we are. And now we are here. You know what I'm saying? We can't. The military takes you. They strip you down from who you are. They'll send you to a combat zone. And once your service is up, They'll just send you back out into public without no reintegration process. And so that's why we all wind up on the streets, on drugs, homeless, and in the situations we are. Um, um, if you notice, everybody here is older. We get out of the military and we try, but it's a slow decline. That's what it really becomes, We're trying to fit into a society that we don't really know how to move through because we were 18 when we joined the military, get out young, we don't know who we are. And so you're still military minded, so to speak. And the society don't have that, so they don't understand us. I mean, um, it's hard to fit in once you get out of the military because there are no reintegration. There's no reintegration process. They strip you down, but they don't build you back up for society. And so that's why the military should be over all of the BAs and right. handling veterans because the military knows what they've done to us. They do. The military knows what happened to us. And so the military should be the best equipped to handle us. They you should, know what I mean? they should um, be helping us better. Yeah, the military, they're, they're done with us. Once, we, once our service is we over with, the military is done with us. So uh, they have no more use for us. Without, without us and if I was like, your 17 year old younger brother and i said hey i got an idea and i want to sign up for the military i would say no 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 um i have nieces and nephews no, who have I, tried I, to I, sign I, up for the military i, I would not let them because i, just, you know, I would know. not um because um it's um is it worth it to serve in my country 
yeah, I was proud to serve my country. But in hindsight, had I known I would not ever know who I am, um, uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend it because today's wars are for political purposes, it's for monetary purposes. Um, Ooh-ah, my fellow brother. This is Sergeant Gerald D. Obless. I have a pun for every able-minded military personnel. Loan me your ear for 30 seconds and I'll change your life forever. And it goes like this. America, when you called me, I signed up. You gave me a gun. Now that I've come back, you won't give me a spoon or fork. Could you explain that to me? Why I can't have a spoon and fork on a military installation? I mean, that's far reaching. That's YouTube and Jerry Springer shit. Love you, bro. Whoa! So are the tiny homes a success to you? Are the tiny homes a success, do you find? Yeah, very successful because we came up with the idea. I mean, I saw the problem here in Veterans Day and I said, okay, why don't we build more homes? And uh, we got it going, so 25, now we have 25 more homes uh, since Veterans Day, so this is real progress. And I have to say thank you to the federal government, to the state, and to the city, and the local community, Veterans Affairs, everyone worked together and they made it happen. There was no one there trying to stop us. But should was really great. like a home, like with a shower yes, and a bathroom? Yes, yeah, everything, a it's just the next step, so this is an interim step. You know, we want to get the people out of the tents so they don't get brain on and then they have something that's dry but they can sleep well and there's quiet and all that stuff so that was the first step so we go step by step you know they can make a move forward well, will one step be in buildings yeah. got a little guy in down buildings here. he wants to say hello he wants a cupcake too you, you, you. Oscar. Oscar. honorably discharged yeah. united states marine fought in five wars uh, thank you for your service yeah and I'm a uh, retired Navy. Got it. Yeah. And uh, Phil, you were just suggesting something, a radio to Rick, if you could yeah, explain. Yeah. Um, as it relates towards, uh, there, there's a lot of theft uh, inside of our compound over here. And as it relates towards the theft in the compound around here, what I found to be um, helpful is if you have a small radio inside of your uh, dwelling, uh, and it's turned on loud loud enough so somebody thinks that they're in there they're not likely to come in open your door without your knowledge when you're away either taking a shower going to the restroom or something along those lines and um, it, it you know it needs to be because we don't uh, have not been provided with keys so we can't lock it on ourselves uh, is there any consideration to start moving veterans he, from he tiny sheds that are four feet uh, bigger than a prison cell and start into 220. <laughs> Is there any consideration? Okay, have a good day. No, honestly. The California state minimum for a prison cell is 60 square feet, and there's running water, a toilet, and a wash basin. Have a good day. What? You're not going to talk to any veterans? No. No? I'm not talking right now. I have a good day. Saying, but what about the. Will you be releasing the keys to the tiny home? Is that something that's being considered? That veterans living in the thing you call a home would get a key so that they don't have to live in it and stay in it to keep it secure where they would end up dying if they never left? Which interestingly enough, if you never left your prison cell, you wouldn't die. But in the things you built, you would die. National soldiers home, right? Why the 
fuck are veterans in tents in tiny sheds why the fuck is that the case how does that make any sense tents tiny sheds security in a span of just 32 seconds the video shows an officer swinging his baton 32 times at a suspect on the ground one swing for each second the officer is with the veterans affairs va police department it happened on the grounds of the West L.A. VA. The suspect is believed to be struggling with another person on the pavement. The officer continues to swing and only stops when backup arrives. As best we can tell from the video, this is where it happened, in front of the Veterans Homes of California, on the campus here of the West L.A. VA, the incident occurring right here on the street. There is no audio. The video is shaky and sometimes out of focus. That's because it was recorded off a video monitor. The date and time stamp on the bottom shows January 16th of this year at 4.10 a.m. We don't know if the suspect was charged or even what led up to this because the department has told us almost nothing. This whole thing is on the VA, what they call a VA campus. It's not a campus. A campus is a university. You come and you leave. This land was donated in 1888. It's three times the size of Disneyland. And it's supposed to be a home for veterans. It used to actually be a home for thousands of veterans until there were some illegal land leases. Ask, why does UCLA have a baseball field? Why is Brentwood School on the property for veterans? That property is only supposed to be for veterans. Why do we think any of this is acceptable? These tiny homes, when I walk on this lawn and I talk to veterans, I personally haven't met one that wants to move into tiny homes. Where San Vicente went on the cleanup is here. This is Veterans Row 2.0. When I talk to the veterans, they're asking how do they move there? They should be in buildings. There are abandoned buildings on this property and to think any of this is okay, to me is unacceptable. This is wheelchair accessible, not really, right? 